Hello everyone! In this video we will fix several problems that worsen the user experience of using this system. The first problem is related to the open inventory. If we add items, like now, by pressing our debug button to an already opened inventory, then its visual part is not updated, as you can see, and we have to reopen the inventory to see the changes. It's not a correct way to work with an inventory system and let's fix it now. Let's open our component of inventory system and add a new event dispatcher here on the left panel. Let's call it on inventory updated. Now open a function called add item and navigate to a place where we have a for each loop. And we have to call this event dispatcher when for each loop is completed. Let's call it here and plug with, com uh, with completed node. Here it is. Copy it from here and add the same logic to remove item function. Plug with completed execution pin. Compile and save. Now open your main HUD widget where an inventory is located. Navigate to event graph. Open preconstruct event. Here we're gonna get inventory system and bind event on inventory updated. Now we have to provide it with an event that will be called every time when inventory update happened. Let's create a new event with create event function. Here in the drop down menu, select create a matching function. Unreal will create us a new function with generic name. Rename it to update inventory. Now open show inventory function. Copy a part where we are updating our inventory with an array of items. Open update inventory and paste it here, like this. Now let's go to show inventory, delete this part from show inventory function and instead of it we're gonna call update inventory function. Compile and save. That's all for this issue. Now let's test it out. Now even with opened inventory if I'm adding or removing items, inventory is updated. One more issue is that we have a runtime error. To see where it is located, let's navigate to get data table row. An error is located in WB inventory slot in the widget blueprint in preconstruct event. The problem is that data table reference that we are getting here is not always existing. So we have to check whether data table reference is valid. Get it and call is valid. Connect execution pins. And we're gonna continue doing this part only if it is valid. Compile and save. Now an issue should disappear. Yeah, my other issues are related to other systems that we don't have in this video. Thanks for watching. This that's it for this video. In the next part, we're gonna add the, an equipment slots to our user interface and implement drag and drop functionality.